Nancy Sinatra, a talented actress and singer, became famous in the 1960s. Her bold style and powerful voice made her a standout performer. She is well known for songs like These Boots Are Made For Walkin' and movies like Speedway. Now, think back to when you first saw Nancy Sinatra. What was it about her that caught your attention? Was it her music, her acting, or something else? And what about Nancy Sinatra sets her apart from other stars of her time? Was it her unique fashion sense, her strong presence on stage and screen, or her memorable performances? We're eager to hear about your favorite memory or experience related to Nancy Sinatra. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, amusing, and even some sad facts to share about Nancy Sinatra. Keep watching to discover more about this remarkable star. Nancy Sinatra, a prominent actress and singer, made a significant contribution to the film industry by bringing a new style and modernity to her roles and music during the 1960s. Her most famous song, These Boots Are Made For Walkin', became an anthem for the changing attitudes of the time. In films, she worked with notable directors and actors, adding a fresh dynamic to the traditional Hollywood image. Her performances often portrayed strong, independent women, which resonated with the audience and influenced future portrayals of women in cinema. Nancy's artistic choices and public persona helped shape the cultural landscape of her era and opened doors for more diverse roles in Hollywood films. Nancy Sinatra, a name that resonates with a unique chapter in music history, was once set to marry Jack Haley Jr. Life took her on a different path and she became the mother of two daughters, A.J. Lambert and Amanda Lambert, the latter being a photographer born on March 17, 1976. In the same year, Nancy released a single titled Kinky Love, which due to its suggestive lyrics, found little airplay on mainstream radio. It lingered in the underground scene until the early 1990s when the Pale Saints brought it back into the light with a cover. Nancy herself reintroduced the song in 1998 on a compilation album called Sheet Music, which featured rare and unreleased tracks. Kinky Love has since become a cult favorite online, and the original private stock to 75 single is now a collector's treasure, with some copies being sold for over $1,000. Nancy Sinatra stepped into the role of Susan Jacks in the movie Speedway, sharing the screen with Elvis Presley. Despite her success as a singer, the film's release came at a time when Presley's draw as a box office star had waned, rendering their on-screen connection less significant. Sinatra's music career took off in 1961 with her first single cuff links and a tie clip. Over the years, she made her mark on the music charts, with 21 entries on the Billboard Hot 100, 10 on the adult contemporary chart, and a couple of appearances on the country chart showcasing her appeal across different music genres. Nancy Sinatra stepped into the spotlight when she was chosen to sing the title track for a major film, a chance that came her way after her father, the legendary Frank Sinatra, turned down the offer. She was once related by marriage to music producer Wes Farrell as his former sister-in-law. In the movie Speedway, she portrayed Susan Jacks, a role she took on around the same time her hit song These Boots Were Made For Walking topped the charts. This period marked a high point in her career, contrasting with Elvis Presley's career, which was experiencing a decline during the filming of Speedway. Nancy Sinatra, a notable figure in the music industry, is the elder sister to Tina Sinatra and Frank Sinatra Jr. Her achievements include receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contributions to the recording industry. Notably, she holds the distinction of being the first American singer to perform the title song for a James Bond film, lending her voice to the track You Only Live Twice from the 1967 movie of the same name. Nancy Sinatra, a name that echoes through the corridors of music history, has connections that extend into various aspects of entertainment. Her daughter, A.J. Lambert, shares a special bond with actor James Darren, who is her godfather. Nancy's influence also touched the world of hip-hop. When two live crews sampled dialogue from a movie scene she was associated with in their song Me So Horny. The song not only used lines from the film, but also interwove her hit These Boots Are Made For Walking Into Its Fabric. Behind the scenes, the creation of her theme song was a laborious process, with John Barry piecing together numerous takes to perfect it. To address Nancy's vocal challenges, her producer Lee Hazelwood crafted a version that layered her voice, 
and included session singers, ensuring the final product was polished and radio ready. Nancy Sinatra, a voice of the 1960s, made her mark with the song You Only Live Twice, which climbed the charts in the United States and the United Kingdom. The daughter of Frank Sinatra and Nancy Barbato Sinatra, she shared the spotlight with her family. Her duet Something Stupid with her father reached number one, a unique achievement for a father-daughter pair. On television, she performed the hit with her brother Frank Jr., showcasing the musical talent that runs in the family. Nancy's contributions to music and television during that era remain significant, reflecting her artistic journey and the legacy of the Sinatra family in American entertainment. Nancy Sinatra's rise to fame was marked by her 1965 hit These Boots Are Made For Walkin', where the distinctive double bass by Chuck Burgofer and Carol Kay's rhythm guitar caught listeners' attention. This song, along with her collaboration with her father Frank Sinatra on Something Stupid, which reached the top of the charts in the United States and the United Kingdom, cemented her place in music history. Her voice also graced the title song of the film You Only Live Twice, which Robbie Williams later sampled for his hit Millennium. In the world of cinema, Nancy Sinatra portrayed Susan Jackson in the movie Speedway, sharing the screen with Elvis Presley, a role initially intended for Sonny Bono and Cher. Her contributions to music and film during this era remain significant. Nancy Sinatra, a graduate of University High School in West Hollywood, California, made a significant mark in the music industry with her contribution to the James Bond franchise. She was the first non-British artist to be featured in a Bond film, performing the theme song for You Only Live Twice. The recording process was challenging for Sinatra, who faced considerable nerves. It was reported that she took 25 takes to perfect the song, expressing concerns about sounding too high-pitched at times. The final version of the song was a composite of the best segments from these takes, as confirmed by composer John Barry. This meticulous effort resulted in a memorable and enduring addition to the Bond series soundtrack. Nancy Sinatra Known for her musical and acting talents, recorded the theme song for the film You Only Live Twice, which was featured on the B-side of a 45 RPM record. The aside carried the hit song Jackson, performed by Sinatra and Lee Hazelwood. Her education includes graduating from the University of California, Los Angeles. In her acting career, she played Susan Jackson in the movie Speedway, and as of 2020, this remains her last film role. Nancy Sinatra's life has been connected with notable individuals from her early years. As a young student, she shared a classroom with Jill St. John, who would later form a significant relationship with Nancy's father, Frank Sinatra. Living in close proximity to Gavin McLeod, Nancy's personal and professional life has been surrounded by influential figures in the entertainment industry. A milestone moment came on May 26, 2013, when she embraced the role of a grandmother after her daughter AJ welcomed a baby girl named Miranda Vega into the world. Nancy Sinatra, a name that echoes through the halls of music history, not just for her family legacy, but for her own musical achievements. As the daughter of Frank Sinatra, she grew up in the limelight and shared connections with notable figures like Ava Gardner, Mia Farrow, and Barbara Marks. Her talent shone brightly, earning her a nomination for the New Jersey Hall of Fame in 2016. But it was her voice that captured the hearts of many, with chart-topping hits like These Boots Are Made For Walkin' Sugar Town and How Does That Grab You, Darlin'. Each song showcased her unique style and helped define a generation of rock music. Nancy Sinatra received recognition for her contributions to entertainment with a Golden Palm star in California. Her role as Susan Jackson in the movie Speedway showcased her musical talent as she performed Your Groovy Self. This track holds the distinction of being the only song by an artist other than Elvis Presley to be included on one of his official record releases. In the same film, she shared a memorable scene with Ponce Ponce, who played a club patron offering her a potato chip, adding a light-hearted moment to the storyline. During her high school years, Nancy Sinatra joined forces with Jane Ross and Belinda Burl to form a close harmony singing group named the Tritones. This early experience in music set the stage for her future career. In a unique gesture for her fourth birthday, Phil Silvers, a family friend, 
penned the lyrics to Nancy, a song composed by Jimmy Van Heusenator. This song later became a cherished piece, reflecting the warmth of Nancy's childhood and the affection of those around her. Nancy Sinatra, a singer and actress known for her hit song These Boots Are Made For Walkin', faced a personal tragedy when her daughter, Angela Jennifer A.J. Lambert, passed away at the age of 66. A.J. was the first child of Nancy Sinatra and her former husband, Tommy Sands. The loss of a child is a profound sorrow, and Nancy's grief was felt by many who admired her work and her strong presence in the entertainment industry. This event marked a somber chapter in her life, contrasting with the vibrant image she often portrayed in her music and films.